All right, we want to uh, begin our meeting. Thank you so much for being here today. Uh, this is something that is extremely important in the life of our church, and so I'm glad that you're able to be here. We're going to take uh, this. Mike is taking it. Everybody say thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> thank and you. We'll post it then on uh, YouTube or however so that people who could not be here uh, will be able to see it. And we're going to pass out, actually we're going to distribute in just a moment uh, the strategic plan, but we want to give you some background before we do that so that you know where we're at and uh, it makes sense to you. So I want to start with prayer. Father, we are so thankful that you have been a tremendous blessing in each of our lives and that you brought us to this place where we're part of a family of God, where you've allowed us to experience great joys and great sorrows as we've walked through life together. And you allow us to experience your great plan of salvation in the world. And we're a part of all the churches in Santa Barbara and all that everyone is doing. And we ask that you'd help us to uh, fill our place within this great city. And so be with us today as we talk, uh, be with our, our thinking, our understanding, and uh, of course we'll give you the praise. Okay, as you know, uh, the board has uh, done the strategic plan. We brought in Tim Fallon. We introduced him to all of you. And um, when, we were, when we were thinking of how to do that, we thought it'd be best if we have a person who is in charge. So Randy has been has spent hundreds of hours on this, has had many of the board members. And so uh, we want to thank him for all of that work. And he will take it from here. All right, well, thank you, Denny. And let me first off thank you all for spending some of your Sunday afternoon here. The whole point of this is in the success in both in the development of it and in the implementation of it down the road is your involvement. So I'm here just as the, the spokesmodel. I'm the Vanna White for today, okay? So you guys, you guys are... <laughs> so as Denny said, oops. What we'll do first off is talk about the process, because this has been a very involved process. We didn't want to move out quickly, we wanted to move out deliberately and make sure that everything was being taken into account in terms of people's desires and goals and be very thorough. So we'll talk a bit about that. Then we'll talk about the strategic map itself. So the work product that you'll see will be handed out to you is a strategic map that we'll talk you, we'll talk you through in detail. And then we'll have some other people come up and present the details of the plan. So you'll have an opportunity to, to drill down. And then we'll open it up to discussion. So the, all right, so, so here's the process. So in, in, in March, we, we met as a church with uh, uh, Tim Fallon. We started putting together a, a game plan. In, in the May to July time frame, we had a total of 22 separate meetings where we had 180 participants, which is really phenomenal. And, and the board was just greatly appreciative of all the time that all the parties put into it, the people who participated, the people who wrote, the, who led the meetings, and also did the recordings. Really phenomenal. In, in August, once we were done with all the meetings, we had a group, Chelsea Mung, uh, Devin Quinn, Doug Jones, Hal Conklin, and Joshua Canada, that did a tremendous amount of work taking all of those comments and putting them into a coherent package that the board was able to review. So every single comment that was made at those meetings were recorded and presented to the board. Nothing was left. So it was a big task to try to get all those meetings into a more digestible, concrete um, document that everybody could look at. Then in September, on the 20th and the 21st, we had our board meeting where Tim Fallon came out. We met for a Friday evening and all day Saturday and went through it in small groups, went through it as a, as a um, board uh, in total, did a tremendous amount of wordsmithing, but it was very, very positive. We all felt really good about coming out of it. In the October to December time frame, what we did is we had Tim Fallon take all of our contributions and mold it into sort of what you'll see today. We've reviewed it, and here we are today doing a dry run to the congregation. So this is your opportunity to give us that feedback I mentioned. In January, the game plan is to take the final plan and present it to the congregation. So again, this is a draft over the next few months. What we'll do is begin to review it with the, uh, internally all the contributions you guys have today and then present it as a final work product in January. 
So the work product that you'll see today is a strategic of uh, the strategic map it is is the primary strategic goals over the next four years. And there's a couple points that we want to emphasize right from the start. It's not designed to be all inclusive of church activities. Any you won't see anywhere on there. You know, visit sick people in the hospital. That doesn't mean Denny's not going to do that anymore, okay? So the idea is that it's key things that we want to start focusing on in addition to the activities that the church already does. Secondly, it's not in any prioritized order. When you get it, you'll see a list of items. Don't think that because it's on top, that's a key thing, or because it's on the bottom, that doesn't matter, all right? So it's, it's just a, a list of things that we want to work hard on. <coughs> Excuse me. And it'll be used as a working document. The idea here is that it, it, I'm sure most of you in business have had strategic plans. Everybody gets excited about it. They put it in a drawer and nobody ever sees it. That's not the point here. The board is taking this very seriously to use it as a way to uh, move forward, not just in the next 12 months, but beyond that time frame. We'll use it in various meetings as a way to report and as a way to report back to you the activities over the next four years. So what, I'll, what I'd like to do is switch to a different briefing, but what we'll do is start talking about the structure of this strategic map that uh, allows us to capture all the different things that we want to do into one easy to, excuse me, easy to read document. So first we start with a blank slate, okay? So you see the strategic map is in draft form. Let's pass it on. Okay. Let's go ahead and pass it on. And, and what we'll start with let me, is, a, uh, is a, what we call a central challenge. So the ch central challenge is the primary goal of what we're trying to do strategically with this plan. So where is it that we're trying to move out into the various directions that you see? As part of achieving that central challenge, the goal is to have a, fulfill a set of strategic priorities. What are the key components that we need to do in order to fulfill that central challenge? Okay, so our central challenge, which is really the key to this whole thing, is as you see, pursue faithful, intentional growth as a healthy, biblically rooted community. And we spent a lot of time analyzing every single one of those words in there, and each one matters. Faithful, we have to have the Holy Spirit guiding us. Intentional growth means that we want to be planned in our activities and careful about it. We need to maintain a healthy, biblically rooted community so that the Bible is what's guiding us in our directions. Okay? So supporting that central challenge is a series of different goals that we have here. You can probably see it better than I can right now. Uh, to deepen our identity as a loving hospitable congregation, so the idea there is to continue to emphasize that and even work harder to achieve that, to expand and strengthen outreach both locally and globally, to worship in the Wesleyan tradition, integrating mind and heart, to develop leaders and expand congregational engagement, and finally to create effective stewardship of kingdom resources. So those are the key strategic objectives that we're hoping to achieve with this plan. Now underneath all that, on the bottom, is a uh, set of pro what we call cross-cutting strategic priorities. So those are the things that form the girder of the, the plan. That without them supporting it, none of this will make sense. So they're, but they apply to every aspect of all the other priorities listed. Those are to provide intentional education, and the key word there is intentional. Intentional education for all ages, biblically, which we have to continue to emphasize, and theologically in the Wesleyan tradition. So again, those form the basis of everything that we're trying to do. As well as, of course, continue to prayerfully discern the Holy Spirit's guidance for the congregation. So with all the Holy Spirit helping us, both in the development of the plan and the implementation of these things, we won't succeed. So we really need to continue to apply all of that to every aspect of the direction that we're trying to achieve here. So what we'll talk about now is the, is the strategic objectives. These are more specific objectives that we want to achieve.